Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. I know everybody's been asking for this review. This is the Sean Witherspoon Special Edition Vespa Primavera. First of all, I'm sure some people stumbled across this video are like sneakerheads and know who the guy is. And then there's some people that have no idea who Sean is and what Witherspoon has to do. So first of all, let me just introduce why this scooter ever exists. Just in a, in a nutshell, Sean Witherspoon, he started like, I think in Vermont or something, I might've got that wrong, uh, somewhere in the United States on the east. He started a used uh, collector's like shoe store, I think, if I recall. And then he started somehow doing, uh, you know, sneaker design. I'm kind of like partial to the, the product design. Before ever working for Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West, I worked for a product design and engineering firm. And it was pretty exciting, except for the products we mostly worked on were medical products, so that's pretty uh, boring. But back to Sean Witherspoon. Um, he got a contract with uh, Nike to do um, a shoe for them, and it happened to be a super successful limited release. I mean, it's a, a, a shoe I think that goes on the market nowadays if you have one in boxes. Uh, I don't know. Man, the sneakerheads are probably just laughing at me. I don't even know, know what I'm talking about. But they pretty much go for like 2,000 bucks in 2020. Uh, now he's got like a web store. I think he's got a good successful YouTube channel. Um, he's had fun with some cars. I think a BMW and um, I know of a, of a Golf that he did in a similar color scheme. Um, but pretty much that Nike shoe kind of put Sean on the maps. I have no idea how he got connected with Vespa, but that's pretty much Sean Witherspoon in a nutshell. Uh, from the perspective of a robot here. Uh, you could search the web and find out the real details about the dude. But I congratulate him because he has a Vespa named after him. What is the color of the scooter? Oh, let me look. Oh, oops, somebody bought this already. I'm reviewing somebody's sold bike. Uh, the color is Sean Witherspoon. Pretty cool. How come I don't have a color called Color Robot? I don't even know what the color of a robot is. I guess it's just metal. But I don't know, that's to be made in the future. Maybe I'll come up with the robot edition in Vespa will uh, buy my idea. Yeah, right. So the story of the scooter is pretty fascinating. If you watch my Racing 60 uh, scooters videos, you know, the 2021 Racing 60, which is on the Sprint, the GTS, I mentioned the word parts bin scooter. This is the ultimate parts bin scooter. And it's not, not derogatory or mean towards anything. From what I understand, Sean went through the factory and just went through the parts bins and picked the combination or the palette of colors that they had in 2019 and put the scooter together. And it matches perfectly to the Golf that he did, or very close to the, the Volkswagen Golf that he did in a similar, like, swatch kind of uh, color palette like this. I don't know, I mean, everybody has their own opinion about how this looks. I have, you got the far opinions that are kind of derogatory, like a clown bike, to uh, a very tasteful art piece. It's pretty much a touring edition. I've reviewed the touring editions. They always include a front rack. Doesn't include the fly screen, um, but it does come with the front rack, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Verde Bosco, top, you got the dragon red underside of the handlebar covers. You got the, the yellow body. This, this color has been used in both matte finish and clear on the Vespa. So the whole entire monocoque frame, I'm going to show you a little hidden secret with this scooter. So if you know Vespas, this is a steel frame and it goes all the way down here, all the way through here, skips the, the dragon red floorboard, and this is all metal too. Doesn't sound like plastic to me. So, all metal, 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 metal. Um, but they pulled a little trick right here. How they add this Verde Bosco to uh, these 
I don't know what you call them, like a rocker panel, I guess. That's actually a decal right there. And that's the only uh, color swatch decal I found on the scooter. I thought that was pretty interesting how they divided it up. If you move on to the floor mat and the battery cover, you notice they're blue. That's straight off the Yacht Club. Uh, they pretty much exclusively have used black for all the Vespas. But once the Yacht Club came around a couple, two years ago, they went to this kind of pretty cool looking blue. Uh, it contrasts really nicely against the red. I like it. Probably my favorite thing is the white trim. You got the white leg shield trim that goes all the way around. It carries on to the horn cover along with the fender crest. And then, and then you have the wheel. And from what I understand, Sean wanted white wall tires on it, but Vespa would not give in to him. They said, no white walls. I'm just, I don't know what the real conversation is, but that's just the way I kind of think it is. Uh, so he said, you know what? I'm getting white wheels on this. And he had the Vespa. That's just a decal that goes all the way around. I'm, a, I'm pretty amazed that they're able to pull that decal off because that's pretty difficult to get something all the way around. So at Scooter West, we got you covered. And Sean, if you want white walls for your own personal uh, Witherspoon, uh, your own Vespa, pretty much, we got you. So pretty much, you could, with the Primavera, normally they come with a 110-70-12. You can go one size up on the Primavera. So you could do the 120-70-12 on the front and upsize the rear of 130-70. It gives you even a slightly better top speed. Uh, sorry, I don't have it mounted, but you kind of get the idea. I think that would be a sick look. The white walls with the white wheels. And then moving on to the super graphics of the rear. What's better than a Primavera? Primavera, 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 Primavera. That's better than just the regular Primavera badge. And then you move on to the left side. And what's better than a little chrome Vespa badge? A big Vespa badge. That's correct the Super Graphics Vespa. And these are pretty nice decals. I mean, the only thing better would be if they were painted into the body. But you gotta keep in mind, the scooter has an MSRP of 57.49 here in the United States of America. That's only a little bit more than a regular Primavera. Uh, can't go so far as uh, change up the paint process for a production vehicle. But the decal looks super cool. After they released the scooter, they decided, oh, we need to have a, a seat cover because you got to protect this beautiful velvet or velour. Ooh, kind of like velvet, same difference. So let's open up the seat. Dun, 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 dun. So you got this super cool bag here. It's got the Vespa tag on it. Sean Witherspoon um, embroidery piece sign there. It's pretty cool. I like the, the dark blue and the yellow. Ribbons, very cool little bag. And what does it include? A blue cover to cover up that velvet nest there. And there you have it. Obviously, everybody knows the velour looks much better. It's just like having silk underwear. You know they're underneath. But you got something uh, on the outside. These are just your regular old corduroy jeans right here. So, you know, if you're going to use a scooter and want to preserve that seat, this is the where you'd take it, and you have the cool bag to go with it. I think that's a pretty cool added bonus that was included with a scooter, because no other 2021 Vespa includes an extra seat cover or rain cover. Only the Sean Witherspoon edition. So I'm going to share some of the special accessories that go with this scooter. You could add an accessory top case, just like any other Primavera Sprint, but you have one additional thing that you get a choice of. If you add the top case, you know, the flat rack, I would suggest just a chrome flat rack. Uh, for the top cases in Vespa, well, guess what? You can get all the different colors. Just pick whatever color you like. You don't need to pick yellow. You don't need to pick green. You don't need to pick white. You don't need to, whatever. You put whatever color you want, and I think it will work perfectly with this, this scooter. Now on to the Sean Witherspoon specific accessories. First of all, I'll start out with my favorite part of the whole entire package, the helmet. 
I've always liked this helmet. It's it's a little on the expensive side for a three quarters size helmet. Quite exclusive in limited edition. If you look at our web store, scooterwest.com, just you know, search Wutherspoon, um, and you'll see all the accessories we have available on scooterwest.com. And as of um, what is it, August, first week of August, we just got a shipment of a couple more helmets and a couple more shirts. Uh, it's pretty limited supply of uh, accessories trickling out of uh, Piaggio Group. And they're distributing them throughout the dealers. Uh, we have them on our web store. And let me pull out the helmet. Dun, 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 dun. Comes in the standard Vespa bag. But it's a really cool helmet. It's got the clear shield that folds up and it also has the tinted shield. But my favorite part of it is the bluer interior that matches the seat. It is so cool. I love it. So all through there. And you got the colors. And I think they're, you know, the three major colors. You got the dragon red, the, the yellow, the verde bosco green, and you got the green from 2019, the white. It's a pretty tasteful color combination for a helmet. You got the, um, the graphics in the back. You got the Vespa and Sean Witherspoon uh, peace sign on there. You can see this helmet is crafted with pride in Italy. This isn't just some junky import helmet. Um, it's got the quick release, which is really nice. And it is DOT approved for the United States. So also found on our web store, scooterwest.com, are the limited edition t-shirts. They're all in US size uh, t-shirts. This is the Schumatics shirt. And you have from the old parts illustrations, and they just added a little color. It looks really cool. And it's got the Sean Witherspoon signature on it. This is the front of the shirt. You flip it around and it's got Vespa with the Sean Witherspoon peace sign on it. This is the Witherspoon peace shirt in black. This is the front of the shirt, Vespa, and on the back, nothing. And you got the white version of the Sean Witherspoon peace shirt. And this is the shirt I like. So you got some illustrations from the wiring diagrams and schematics from the vintage Vespas. And of course I look at it and I just love that that's the old stator plate from probably a 60s Vespa. It probably is a 60s Vespa based on the tail light. You got the junction block and then the backside is pretty much nearly a full wiring uh, diagram. Uh, it's kind of truncated. You got, this is the front part of the scooter pretty much. You got the brake pedal, the horn, the switch. You can kind of see the different shorting positions of the switch. But again, all highlighted with the colors. I just love this shirt. And this one's mine to keep. So again, thanks for watching. This is Robot's take on the Sean Witherspoon edition Vespa Primavera 150. And if you're looking for the 50, they got you covered as well. I'm sorry I don't know the MSRP, but I think it pretty much is about 200 bucks more than the regular Vespa 50 Primavera. Um, you can get the Witherspoon edition in the Vespa 50. I think it's not only an awesome scooter, but an awesome collectible. It won't appeal to everybody. It won't appeal to most, I think. But I just wanted to share it with everybody and Robot's thoughts on it. Until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California, the premier dealership for all things Vespa, because that's all we do here is Vespa. Um, if you've stumbled across this channel for the first time and kind of want to go down that rabbit hole called the Vespa, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you thought this video uh, enlightened you on the Witherspoon edition, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to be notified about my weekly videos, every once in a while I got laughs because I get stuck with something called work here. I, I do work for a scooter shop. Uh, hit the little notification bell. I don't know what you're watching this on, whether it's a mobile phone or whatever, you can figure it out. Technology's got you covered. And thank you, YouTube, and thank you for watching.